run life. Hey y'all, what's going on? Nice to see you. Look, I was debating about doing my hair because y'all know I will be in a hoodie in a second. I forgot I put that there for I don't know what reason. All right, so we about to have a real quick agenda meeting. I know people are asking me so many questions and hopefully we'll get it all straight right here. People are like, whoa, Rashawn, where you're doing? You're out the gate prophesying all that stuff, right? Look, I'm just as intrigued as you are, but we're going to cover all that and any comments or questions that you may have, you can run them by me um, at any moment in time. I will not be waiting on anybody to get on this live because I know a lot of you will be doing the replay because a lot of people just aren't up in the middle of the day to run through all these notes. Yes, I have a whole clipboard, a whole laptop, and it's a whole situation. I got two ring lights. Who I, what I need two ring lights for? I don't know, but you just do what God says. Baby, yes. Hi, Kishelle. What's going on? You are in these meeting notes. You already know that. <laughs> but I'm going to be announcing everything that's literally going on time frames look people got so many questions i can't answer them one by one get on the live and we're gonna get it straight all right how you guys doing you guys want to pray real quick of course let's get it all straight so get me out the way get god in here so we can make it go um lord god hey thank you you're doing a lot of amazing stuff i heard about it because you're, you're telling me so um god i just ask you to come in here come here you're invited come here sit with us Tell the people what you want to tell them. Um, God, remove all of me. Um, if you need to speak to anybody, Lord, just feel free to use me uh, as you want to. God, help you, this ministry, your ministry, truly come to fruition. Let people feel and just know and understand that the love that you want to bring through me, God. Um, the people that are connected to me that want to do amazing stuff in you. Hey, it's their time and you're calling them out. So I thank you, God, for this moment. We praise your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So... I hope you're having an amazing Tuesday. I have an amazing Tuesday going on. Um, this wash and go was probably the best wash and go I ever had in my life. But we're not here for me. We're here for God. So I am taking the time to officially announce Run Life Ministries. Run Life Ministries is a ministry started by me. Um, I guess I'm not going to call myself a pastor, prophet, nothing. I'm just a servant. I was going to keep it at servant. Servant's cool. Some servant's humble. I don't want no attention. I just want God's plan to go, you know, where it needs to go. Um, I'm announcing it's happening. It's already in a database as a business, um, a place that you can get education on when it comes to God. Um, we will be doing all types of things, right? So it's a, an official thing. Okay, guys. Um, now with everything that's going on for Run Life Ministries, I need you to get on the email list. I know I'm like bugging everybody like email list, email list. I'm going to be around the world. Okay. I'm not going to be able to call you. I'm probably not going to be able to do lives all the time. We're going to have events, but I know the main place of contact where you're going to check is your email. People check emails every day. Go to my website, Run Life Live Christ. Run Life Live Christ. Can somebody put that at the bottom? I'm going to put it. Run Life. Uh-huh. Run Life. I spelled it wrong. Life. <laughs> live. Come on, buttons, Christ. That's why I need some administrative people because I can't be doing all this all my, by myself. Run Life Live Christ dot com. You could go on there and jump on the email list. I'm a nerd, so it's not just gonna be like, hey, how you gonna doing? We're gonna pray for you. This is gonna go so deep, it's gonna change your life. Cause it's changing my life. And this this really was birthed in like 2015, but it's just blooming like a flower today. Okay. Join the email list. If you don't go to my website and join the email list on the bottom of the homepage, just send me your email via message. Go do it right now. Take yourself, get off. <laughs> write your email into my inbox i'm gonna know what it's for i'm gonna put it in the email list to go with all of the stuff for run life run life is gonna be so fun i'm getting to that okay god's got me in an order events i have an event going on okay right now only one is coming um i extended the invitation for anybody to do a baptism um i know i have a church and i know they do baptisms but when I ask for the baptism for this specific person, it's going to be months in advance like that is going to be done. So I'm like, I'm not going to wait to dunk 
you know somebody in the water that is obviously wants to be saved right now today so this week i will be baptizing somebody i'm going to the beach okay i'm not gonna wait for nobody keep cold nobody's pool if you got one let me know because i already put the word out of somebody wants to be saved and dipped in this water and give their life to jesus right now this week i'm not gonna wait i know everybody got stuff to do we all have different ministries that's why we create things like this for people right now i'm all about right now help um so i'm gonna be baptizing somebody this week if you'd like to be baptized let me know and we can arrange that don't wait don't wait. The enemy doesn't wait to mess with you, okay? So don't play with him. Get dunked in that water. And then let's rejoice in this, like, right now, new found path that you want to partake in. Like, after you get baptized, it's like, yes. It's such an accomplishment. And I want to celebrate you. I want to be there to celebrate you. I want to dunk you in the water. That's going to be cool, right? That's going to be so cool. I know when I got married to my husband, I made sure him and our two kids and our friend was baptized I don't play. You going to deal with me all up in my life. You going to know God. So I took them, all them boys to church. They are all men, all four of them men <laughs> to church. And I make sure they got baptized immediately. We're not waiting. We're not waiting. God, I mean, God, God is tired of waiting on you. Can you imagine? He's been waiting forever and ever. Okay. So um, I'm going to be doing a baptism. Anybody that would like to help me, if I get more people, you know who I'm reaching out to. I do have an auxiliary. Um, auxiliary people for help and i will be reaching out if more people come message me if you want to get baptized we can handle that and it's gonna be so fun y'all y'all know me it's gonna be crunk i'm gonna be playing like gospel rap and all that and we're gonna celebrate with you like you got support period point blank all right all right so you know what god made a direct a declaration last night to me i kept asking god like what are we doing because you know i i'm literally listening to the voice what are we doing What's your plan? How do you want me to form this gun? And I sit and I wait. So I was up. He's, I know early in the day, he was just like, I need you to study. I just need you to just study. I'm like, study what? So I just cracked open stuff and I started studying what he had already gave me, but I just started fine tuning it, breaking it down smaller, smaller, smaller until it's like microscopic. Cause I'm really trying to see what God is saying to me. I don't want to miss a thing. So he made a declaration of a, uh, for 2022 it's a year of no fear hey i like that that wasn't even me i'm telling you 2022 is a year of no fear um and he had me put together a literal pdf that teaches you how your the scriptures you're going to read the prayer you're going to pray i read a long prayer i mean god was just talking all last night i'm telling you um when you're gonna fast it's only like three days, okay? Because I, I kind of like a format I was seeing. I was like, God, I don't want to fast at the end of the month. When you start and it's like the number one, it kind of does something to your mind to reset you. So we're going to fast three days, the first three days in the month. And we're going to keep digging into in every month. And we're going to keep digging and opening up fear. What are you scared of? Who is scaring you? Why? What is it holding up? Like all year, we are going to dismantle fear Piece by piece. Right, y'all not feeling me, but we are going to dismantle fear piece by piece because it's not of God. God didn't give us a spirit of fear, right? Hello. So what is it? It's we know it's a spirit, but what kind of spirit is inhabiting us? It's a bad one. It's evil. It's something that's gonna come and derail you. There is so much fear in the church. I see people. God brought. Thank you, Lord. Um, let me go back. Be obedient. Let me go back. After read uh, the the piece of the decorate the la 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 the piece of the declaration that He gave me. It was literally I had to quote, put quotations around specific things He said, and then what I was feeling through He. I don't know this talking to God thing. I'm trying to explain it to you. Y'all don't get it, but you'll get there. There's things that I feel and it's an announcement. And I know these are, this is like a, a word of wisdom through the Holy Spirit, right? But then there's things God says that's verbatim that I know was not an influence of my knowledge and my wisdom. It was, this is what God is saying, okay? I'm telling you, I would always differ differentiate the two. 
Okay, so what was said last night? Fear is a demonic stronghold that muzzles our praise, our dreams, and our growth. God says no more, no more. Now the thing God specifically said, I put in quotations on my site. It says, know my voice, my promise, and my patterns. I am the way to overcome, okay? Know my voice, my promise, and my patterns. I am the way to overcome, okay? So that's the declaration last night. And I was like, whoa, Lord, did you really just uh, say all that to me? So it was really amazing. I'm going to go through the 2022 declaration download. There is a download for you to follow, okay? I am a nerd, and I'm very specific, and I'm very intentional with my movement. I love order, so there will never be a time where you feel lost, okay? Because I will always make sure you have the direction <laughs> you need to go for your spiritual growth, period, okay? Such a nerd, okay? So I'm going to go over this real quick. You could download it yourself. Look, it's on my website. Look at all that, okay? Look at all these tabs up, okay? I'm not playing. So you can download this PDF on the Run Life Live Christ website. It's a big thing that says, uh, year of no fear, you can't miss it. Downloads right there. Click it and let it download in your spirit and your phone, okay? I'm going to go over real fast. Dismantling fear. Focus scripture. It's four of them. You go read them, okay? The vision, getting out of our own way and heal, uh, getting out of our own way to get healing and restoration that is owed to us, that was bought by Christ and stolen by ignorance. Um, uh, will we keep watching the enemy steal our mind, peace, love, um, self respect, health, children, finances, marriage, progression, confidence, relationships, and family? <laughs> I think not, because I've had enough, and I hope you've had enough. Let's move. Let's remove fear from its throne. Let's get to work. So that's the vision, right? <laughs> On it. Fear, you got to go. Okay? There's a long prayer. There's a fast schedule. No fruit from 6 to 6 on the first, second, and third day of the month. Just have water. You'll be fine. Um, then there's a process analysis where it talks about what your mental processes are going to be through this year what your spiritual processes are going to be through this year your physical process yes you must exercise you will exercise and i tell you why exercise is important in also observing christ then there's um a section about consumption what are you putting in your body um it's like we're not just tapping into oh you know lord thank you and, and you praise and praise and then you go home to the same stupid stuff not even using any tools to overcome, but you're sitting there crying for 30 years, not getting nowhere. You're not using your tools, okay? With me, if you decide to follow or God is pushing you to uh, kind of get under this ministry to, to get what you need to live, um, I'm a track coach by nature, track girl. We get to work. I don't play with the enemy. I don't play with laziness and I love order and I love God and I love fun too. But if there's something that you are literally dying from in the spirit, which will manifest spiritually and you'll be, I mean, which will manifest physically and you'll be dying in different aspects of your life. You know, you're suffering. I'm not going to let you suffer. God's not going to let you suffer. So I'm going to make sure I pinpoint Every specific way the enemy can get in your life and every specific way that God is going to mend and break and mold and and um, secure you. OK, I am very, very detailed. And if we got to just do one PDF for the whole year, I don't care. This is how we get healing done. OK, so sorry. Um, somebody said, hey, y'all better get on my life. Stop messaging me. Um, <laughs> this is business. <laughs> All right, action plan, strategic goals and actions. Uh, what is fear holding up in your life? What is your personal game plan to um, get action or personal plan of action for victory? Okay, so that's the declaration for uh, 2022. You sit with it and figure it out. Uh, he said, how do I find the website to download? So the website is Run Life Live Christ. I'll write it again. I should have copied it. Run, life, 
live Christ. Uh huh. And I'm gonna put a dot com. Run life live Christ .com. So it should show up right now in the comments, which I put down there. Go ahead and highlight that. Go straight to the website. Put in your search bar. And then all the way at the bottom, email. Or actually, it says no fear. It's a big old red sign as two downloads. Click the first one and second one. Okay. So this is the declaration no fear. Year of no fear 2022. If you got to sit with this until 2022, that's fine with me, but this is going to happen. Okay. Uh, bring your friends, ask your friends to, you know, if they're having fear, or you just see people just not, it's just not working for them. Um, get them this PDF. At least you could drop it off with them. Slide it. You, I don't care what you do, but now I'm asking you, you know, do you need help? Now, in you getting help, you pass this to somebody else and ask them if they need help. That's how human life should work, okay? You have access to information, something that's going to help and heal somebody that you see drowning. Throw them that life raft. Now it's your responsibility to pass it on. I done my responsibility by creating it and being like, God, tell your people to come get this because somebody needs it. I'm up in here at 3 in the morning for somebody because they need it, okay? All right, so that's enough. For the declaration and downloads there's a second download that's a faith study guide um and i'll get to that now so run life uh ministry's goal is to be like christ like we're trying to run life and live christ we're trying to run our lives and then live the god that we know is in us through the holy spirit right so that encompasses everything mentally you need to be observing running life purposefully you know and living christ in your mind you need to run life run your life and live christ with your body okay that means like getting active moving being healthy responsible with the body god is giving you and then spiritually of course i couldn't stress it enough the spirit is the most permanent realm when you die from here that's where you go into the spirit realm that is the permanent realm so if you are very strong mentally very strong physically and you're very weak spiritually we need to get you some balance because you're out of whack okay and it's okay because we're all a little out of whack but this is what information is for maybe nobody's broken it down to you like this but this makes sense okay and in consumption i think we talked about that what are you taking in what is coming out how are we assessing what is going on with the overall you like the whole encompassing you okay so my um god and i didn't say my god gave me an acronym for what run life is going to be about and it's bay everybody want a bay everybody need a bay shoot i'm not looking for bay but i don't think god's gonna give me a bay right now because god is my bay hey so bay is my acronym of, of what we're gonna um how we're going to absorb all this information education and things like that so the first one is b building faith you have to believe first. I mean, you could be a Christian and not really believe God. We see it all the time. And that's why we have weak Christians. That's why we have people, you know, sending up these weak prayers. They just weak. I know a gangster somewhere on the corner in the middle of, you know, the dip that is more convinced about the hood that he know he doesn't own <laughs> than another Christian about Jesus, which is super sad. Okay um that gangster has a lot more belief than a lot of christians i know and that is a whole entire problem okay hear me we need to build your faith you need to be like a little bit more not you we're saying corporately we all need to be a little bit more um wise about our father that we're saying we know that we're saying we worship but we don't really know him and in some instances, we haven't been taught how to have faith, like break it down baby steps. Like, look, God broke it down baby steps for me because it was certain stuff I wasn't getting. And it was certain things I just wasn't believing because I looked to the world and I didn't know how to put myself fully in God to, to get the faith muscles I needed to be a strong believer. Okay. And it's okay because we've all been there. I didn't pop up like this over now. Look. <laughs> Okay, so BAE is the acronym, Building Faith, Accessing Power. You have power. 
God said he's, you're going to do greater things than he did. Like what? That's crazy. I've seen people raise people from the dead. I've seen people cast out demons. I've seen people overcome crazy stuff. You have that same power. If like, does God lie? Tell me, has God ever lied? Tell inbox me. I want to know if he did. Let's investigate. But out of the how ooh, how old am I? Jesus, the 26 years I've been saved, God ain't never lied to me. I'm gonna tell you the truth. And I've been looking like, God, look, if you fail me, I'm gone. Like, ain't nobody got time. God's never failed me. So um, there is power that is given. It's just you don't know how to access it. I think I told somebody a few weeks ago that I casted out my first demon, you know, with somebody. Did I know I could really do that? In my heart, I did. I was like, you know, I could. I feel like God's given me like the power to say stuff got to move. But when I finally believed it and just stepped up and did it, I was like, oh, we went down. So I was so surprised and it was so cool. So God is going to give you like the power you need. Like he's already promised it. You have to literally build the faith to believe it and then move to go do it. Okay. Like literally we could all be slaying demons right now, but people don't believe. We could all be praying down manna from heaven, but people like honestly don't believe. And God didn't even, he couldn't even heal in certain places when he was going around healing. In certain places, he was like, nah, they don't even believe. And he just skipped them. Well, God, don't skip me. I'm going to need that, okay? You get to become like a personal superhero. What? Who watches Superman? Spider-Man? Um, you know, Catwoman. I, she was like a villain. But anyway, you know, Green Lantern. Shoot, The Matrix. God literally gives you a super power that could be tapped in in two different realms. Does anybody understand that? That's crazy. That doesn't make sense. But it happens every day, still today. And you have access to that power. Like, why isn't anybody telling you this? Hello? And maybe it's just me. You become like a real freaking Superman. Who doesn't want to be a superhero in Christ? I want to slay demons. I want to raise people from the dead. I want to speak the future and it actually happens. That's amazing. Who doesn't want that? And when you get that, you get love and, and joy. And oh. I need you to get here with me because you can get here. And it's so amazing. And we all have gifts to where we're like warriors in this thing to help people, to help bring back, back good in the world. Okay. So the acronym was BAE, Building Faith, BAE, ha, BAE, Building Faith, sorry, Accessing Power, Educating in Truth. There's a lot of miseducation going on. There's a lot of occult activity. There's a lot of witchcraft that we dive into that we don't even know, you know, what's what. Trying to sift those things and get real education on the spirit realm. This is not just churchy stuff, who you rocking with, who said what. I mean, this is real nerdy stuff, like, for your life. Most people, when they become ill, um, they look up the disease. Because they want full knowledge of what is killing them or ailing them a lot of people in church or in christ we don't even look up what's killing us we don't even study the bible on what's killing us spiritually and physically and that's a problem and then we're watching people not even like do anything about it and just literally die in the church die in struggle, die in grief, die in pain. And we're just like, well, she didn't have a relationship. God, well, you know, the church is open. Sometimes we got to go deeper. Like, who's going to do it? We got to do it for each other. It's not always like, it doesn't always feel good. But we have to educate and pull each other up one by one. Or else, like, how do we do this? How? There's not going to be any kingdom left to defend if everybody's dead and hurting and ain't got no knowledge, okay? So that's my acronym for what we do in Run Life, Bay. Everybody need a Bay. Everybody needs to build their faith, access power, and educate in truth. All of this is on my website, Run Life, Live Christ. You can look at it, okay? So my ministry focus, I can't, I gotta stay, stop saying my. The ministry focus, because it ain't even mine. I just work here. I'm admin for God. Um, <laughs> deliverance. I'm casting out demons. I love it. I love removing demons from people in Jesus name. It is so fun because it's like the most immediate way for somebody to get free 
for somebody to get healed and God does it on the spot. It's like, it's like a drive through for Jesus. Like if you want a burger, you could get it right there, right now. If you believe like, hello, I want all the burgers. <laughs> Give me all the burgers, God. It's, I love deliverance. It's a dirty job because most people aren't even taught that, you know, demons could literally live inside of you. Generational curses. We say, oh, it's a generational curse, but we don't understand these generational curses have dark kingdoms. Like, you know, we have the kingdom of God. There's an evil kingdom with generals and ranks that really operate. Remember principalities, powers, rulers of the air? That's a whole nother separate evil kingdom that inhabits the earth as well along with the presence of god and we're in the middle we don't understand that we're so valuable yeah ranking spirits oh yeah oh, god i've done the research <laughs> Woo! don't do it if you're not ready um but we live in a middle realm to where it's physical and then spirit also resides over it we're in the middle understand you are made by god you're a whole god vehicle you're a whole bmw what enemy wouldn't want to steal a BMW? You know what I'm saying? So the enemy prowls the earth, roaming to steal, kill, and destroy, you know, and come pick up on these BMWs, which is you. And they, okay, let's, let's bear with me. So the enemy steals the BMW, the car. The car is you. And drives it into the ground and destroys it. Wouldn't it make God so mad? Like, hey, I got in your creation and I killed it ha now i got a soul that's the game i know it's weird but i can't explain it any better you are literally made by god and the enemy is trying to steal your body and soul which is also made by god it pains god so much to see his creation overran by this evil jerk but we have the power to rise up and say no I'm going to keep standing because I belong to God. I was bought with a price because he's jealous that you have so many people, you know, admonishing the creator when, you know, Satan was a fallen angel because he wanted to be the creator. He's jealous of the love that we get. He's jealous of the access and power we get. And we are already victorious. We just need to stay staying with God and stop becoming like Eve and falling and falling and falling. Okay. We need some people that are stronger in Christ need to go out there to them apple trees and start snatching people up off the ground. This is not a game. Once you've given over to the enemy and like you, y'all good. That is your God. You done. You totally said, F you, God, I'm out of here. Like, it's serious. The sex, the the addictions, the idolatry. I mean, this it's really real. And I, I'm not trying to sound creepy and weird. She said, you're doing well. Thank you. <laughs> but it's really real, real. We're God's creation. Who doesn't want to steal us? We could speak everything he speaks. We can do everything he does. We just don't know how to do it. Because we need some better education, some better teachers. And I will step up and be one. Use me, God. Because I've been I've been looking to be dangerous in God. I've been like, God, like double touch. Let me jump in. Where's my moment? This is my moment. And I'm going to help. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to serve God to the fullest. So we doing this. All right. So again, the focus for the ministry is deliverance, teaching, and prophecy. I don't like doing prophecy. Everybody keeps telling me I'm prophet can we just put down the back burner i know it'll come out but i'm not a i'm not a fan and god knows that but that's between me and him i promise you i won't say much <laughs> um probably write it down most of all okay so for those that know me i know this is a good meeting we're about halfway done those that know me i'm going to the military in the next 28 days i know people are like why is she starting all this she's starting a whole ministry god told me to do it okay you don't argue with the big guy upstairs and it's it this is his show i'm following directions like i said i'm admin for god i'm just here to do the work okay um for two months i will not be accessing any social media so god is pushing me to build 
everything I possibly can now. For what reason? I don't know. I'm following orders. I kid you not. I'm listening to the voice of God. So after 28 days, no more social media will be up, okay? Hopefully by the time in 28 days, I will have at least two auxiliary helpers that can help pray with you and just be standing in the gap while I have to do this other thing, okay? So other than that, Run Life will be going to Maryland. Hey, that's what I said, email list. After those two months, social media will be back on, I think about February. Um, social media will be, back on, will be back on and the whole 2022 challenge will be in play, okay? So you have the information now to combat fear and we'll keep meeting on it so you're truly prepared to enter the year upon me leaving in 28 days. Look, God is with you, okay? I ain't gonna walk you through it. God's gonna walk you through it. This the whole thing is for you to build a relationship with God. I'm just trying to help you to bring you back to your father, okay? That's all. Um, so in Maryland, things are be gonna be going down. I have a contact, Chriselle, or Kush, Kush, Kushelle Rourke. She does deliverance also in Maryland. So we're gonna be working together to help deliver people there. It's going down. Um, upon me, and I know people be so worried about church and leadership. So I'm going to just say this for the record because I know people watch me. This is just for man. Um, I do have consulting partners, or I won't say partners. They are. We're all in the body of Christ. I'm not going to get too technical with this because I don't like this stuff. Uh, pastor Nate is my pastor. It's still going to be my pastor probably and hopefully until the day i die okay he knows what i'm doing he sees it we're gonna be meeting up of course we're all about god is not about a person or whose affiliation because i ain't affiliated with nobody but christ i don't need nobody's covering i don't need that i don't need it. and nobody's gonna tell me i need it because i don't other than that um i will be she don't know it yet but she's been in my mind uh, prophetess Soretta Allen. I want to call her Master Prophetess Soretta Allen. Will be my elder that I um, directly consult with. Period, on anything I'm doing with my ministry because uh, she's an OG. You gotta respect the OGs. You can't just come out the gate with no observance or elder consulting you and making sure you know you're in the right space. You don't do that. So those are my two people I'm gonna go to. So you could run tell that. <laughs> if you want to <laughs> um i do have auxiliary helpers i won't be naming them but it's about three people that want to speak and also help and that have a gifting and skill set to tell their story so get your passports ready i'm going to maryland get your funds ready um donate to the ministry i have a venmo right now um of course i'm gonna be pulling money out of my pocket because i want this to work and God's going to supply either way. But um, at the end of the day, it's about the people. If you want to help other people, if you want to help, I do, you know, it takes time to do stuff like this. I ain't hard up for money because I got a whole job. But that's not the point. <laughs> the ministry is supposed to be a baby we all take care of for the sake of everybody. It's like giving to the needy because when you give to a ministry, that is going to put forth all this energy and resources um, to not support them is kind of like, you know, it's just going to be a dying branch of the body of Christ. And you don't want that. So you consult God on where you put your funds. Because I ain't going to beg. Because <laughs> God goes supply. I ain't tripping. Um, but for people that want to do and I, I don't mean to come off rude. I'm just saying God's going to do what he has to do. Period. I don't like it's hard for me to ask for help just in my personal life so to ask for jesus i feel a little bit better <laughs> because um it's just a responsible thing we do as the body of christ period but um you pick where you want to give and that's cool with me but i'm so happy to finally announce my ministry um join the email list uh god didn't give me anything else other than that so i won't say anything else other than that but one thing there are two Besides the downloads, there are two products that are out that are mine personally. Um, I guess this is my plug after I put Jesus. Yeah, I'm good on that. Okay. So um, I do have music out. I have a um, a 
single called Chosen. You can find it on the About page on Run Life Live Crisis right under my introduction of myself. <laughs> and there's also a book coming out in 2022 called, um, I think, How to Be Persistent in the Midst of a Pandemic. It's a mental health journal for people that are struggling because I was struggling and I had to write my way out. And so um, I want to extend the olive branch of help and also make a version of that for people that need resources like me. So I wouldn't lose my mind or kill myself because I was definitely contemplating it. I know I said in a facetious way. I'm really serious. But um, yeah, writing saved my life along with a few other things. Okay. All right. That's it. I'm going to jump back on and address my testimony because so many people wrote me. And then after that, I am done for the day, baby. I'm going to be clocking out. No, God don't have no clock out. Um, join Run Life Live Christ. Run Life Live Christ or Run Life Ministries. Um, join the email list. Drop your email list inside my inbox or you can go on to my website. Please download all those materials. They're going to bless your life, literally. Um, I stayed up very late to create them. <laughs> Not that I need any credit because I don't. <laughs> it's for God's glory and it's for you to use and for you know, to help you. All right. Visit runlifelivechrist.com. I love you guys. Thank you for tuning on and God bless you.